Three years ago, we brought you the story of a Detroit church with a big problem. The spires that rise above Sweetest Heart of Mary Church were so old they had become a potential danger. So the church embarked on a very expensive effort to save the structure. And as our Larry Sproul shows us, the job is finally done. This church is a great piece of history here in the city of Detroit. And recently they did a massive remodeling project. And I got to tell you how it looks now is pretty impressive. These two church spires on top of the sweetest heart of Mary are finally restored after three years. We started in August of 17 and I'm happy to say we completed the project uh, roughly two weeks ago. Larry Wilk tells me it's been a long time coming, but he volunteered to head up this project after his 92 year old mother demanded him to. She contacted me three years ago, August of 2017, with some very sad news that the spires were going to be torn down. I asked her why. She said that the city of Detroit had given an ultimatum to the parish to either repair the spires to a degree where they're safe or to do a teardown. So Wilk instantly decided to head up the project, but he says it was important to keep the same look and design of the original church built in 1992. We wanted to stay consistent with the color scheme that was done when the church was first built back 130 years ago. Local 4 was there when they first started the remodeling project in 2017. Wilk says the entire cost for the massive restoration, $500,000. Members of the church, like Al Sebastian says, looking up into the sky and seeing the two church spires can catch anyone's attention. It's important for the city of Detroit, for historic preservation, for our Catholic faith, and uh, it is something that is really a sight to behold. Reporting in Detroit, Larry Sproul, Local 4. So great to see the dual spires will be dedicated on September 12th at the Taste of the Pierogi Festival dinner.